Welcome to Yacht Crew Vlogs, where we tell the stories of those in the yachting industry. A behind the scenes look that discovers the individuals in the industry, their history, their passions, and what inspires them to do what they do. Hi everyone, and welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria, I am your host, and today we are joined by Roxanne Ducree. He is sales and rental at Super Yacht Tenders and Toys. How are you? I'm very good, thank you, and you, Ria? Good, thanks. Well, I've been chasing you down for a couple of weeks now. You've been a very, very busy girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm very busy. Very busy, but I'm glad I am doing this now and we are taking the time for it. And that was really, really important for me. So I'm glad for that. Thank yeah, you. well, no, I mean, it's, it's our pleasure completely to have you here. Um, now, we know that you work for Super Yacht Tenders and Toys and you're obviously amazing at your job, but... I want to know who Roxanne is. Tell me a little bit about you, where you're from, um, you know, what your dreams and aspirations were as a kid, and, and uh, give us a little insight. So, um, so I'm from Monaco. I was born in Monaco, and that's also why when I joined CPR Tennis and Toys, it made sense that I stay in Monaco and I um, develop the business from here, and I just face the clients here. Um, so I've been... Born and raised in Monaco, I I did different studies. I I have a diploma of set designer and art. So I created stage design, light design uh, for opera, ballet, theater. Been production assistant on some events and director assistant for uh, some operas and theater. So very different than yachting. Um, and actually the team is trying to use that to say, oh, you should design the new uh, stand for the Monaco Yacht Show. <laughs> so <laughs> I will see. Um, and so, yeah, I, as a kid, I really loved art and I always loved uh, opera. So that was also why I've been into art. I went into art, but also I loved um, selling and yachting since very, very young because being born in Monaco, you, it, the port is part, very big part of Monaco. It's very yeah. important. So you, you can't miss it. And um, I've been working during the Monaco show, just the events um, for a couple of years beside my studies and beside my other job. And then I, it made sense that I really wanted to, to reach that patient too. And uh, so that's how I moved into yachting. And uh, I really love it. I really, really love it. And uh, we always discover very interesting people and uh, full of different stories. And this is what I like. Every day I meet different new people with so incredible stories. So that is very rich. Well, you spend a lot of time traveling as well. I mean, you know, a lot of the times when I get in contact with you, you are in one other place or another place and, and you're traveling all over the place. Is that part of what you like about your job? I love it. I really do love it. And uh, because again, it's different cultures and it's just, I don't know, I can't be in just one place. <laughs> I just love to move all the time and uh, it's different projects. So yeah, I'm traveling to different shipyards every time. And so that's part of the job, but that's what I like. And every time, maybe not now because of COVID, but um Usually when I travel, I try to also have one of my colleagues from the UK with me. So then we do some kind of dream team and uh, <laughs> we meet the clients in the ship or like that. Well, I mean, it's a bonus for you too, because you speak four languages. I do. <laughs> and that, yeah. that must help when you do your traveling around the world. It does. It does. It really does. And um, that's how also I think the team... And Josh and um, and Claire really liked also this part of the fact that I can speak different languages. And really often we receive inquiries in uh, French, Italian, German. So this is how also then I can I can jump in because it's not only English. So that's helpful. Well, Super Yacht Tenders and Toys has been extremely busy this year. Ironically enough, even though this year has you know COVID hit and and we had this pandemic and you know you saw a lot of people saying that they had your business had slowed down, but you guys had some pretty big projects on the go, Ladacha being one of them this year. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, so we've been uh, very, very, very happy to outfit Ladacha. It was a big, big, big project and really cool project. Um, we always love, like, now the, the new projects are really exciting for us and uh, we love to, yeah, 
give advices also on some different products that could uh, could be the new trendy products uh, to go for and to must have. So it depends if the yacht is an explorer, where it will go. So we try to, to also recommend the clients for that. And then, yeah, if it's charter guests for charter, what charter guests usually like. And so um, we, we really try to get in and to recommend as much as we could. And we enjoyed it a lot. It's a cool book. But we've been also on other different projects, like I, I've been personally in, involved with Ragnar. And uh, then, of course, it's all with the team. So we work all together and we, we talk and we, uh, we, we have different departments, right? Um, so it's very interesting what the yachting industry is bringing to us now. Well, explain to me how that works. I mean, do you, when you go out as, as a salesperson, do you meet the families of, of these super yachts or the owners of these super yachts and discuss what their needs are and take a look at what type of either their family, they've got two kids, what age the kids are, what they're looking for in their experience on their yacht? And is it your job to recommend certain things or tell them what the trends are or the things that you help them discover basically what the, what the things are that would keep them happy while on board? It is. Um, you know, it. I'm always saying everybody could sell a seabob, right? But uh, what we bring in is our knowledge, is the services we supply. So for the tenders, let's say, um, why um, why to buy a tender from us and not from the manufacturer directly? It's because we project manage a tender, we follow all the build, we make sure it will fit, everything will fit and will work correctly as the owner's team wants. And we all, we have the documentation the documentation for that uh, during the build. Same for the toys. Um, it happens that, um, and every time, most of the time, it's like this. The owners team is coming to us to ask, okay, what are the toys that the kids from uh, the age of ten to fifteen like? So this is what then what we recommend. Um, also, if um, the the owner is a very is a very sportive person, what he will like, what he will maybe dislike, or will not be as much challenging as he would like. So, um, another owner that will like to explore, or it is always trying to f match the request as much as we can, and really recommend. So, this is really a big part of our job. This is what we do every day. Um, and we, again, just earlier today, I had another inquiry to, and the, the owner's team asked me, okay, what would you recommend? This is what we've got. This is what we would like, but is there anything you would recommend? Yes or no, what we could change. So this is what we get involved. Well, let me ask you, I mean, you started working uh, just back in, in 2019, but as you folks, our team, have you spoken about the difference in, in what desires are nowadays compared to, say, five years ago? Do you know, what are the trends now? Are they going more towards Explore Yachts? Is there a need for, you know, many more toys? Is that where it's heading with smaller yachts? What, what is the trends at the moment? So definitely it's Explorer, and we can see this a lot. And um, then it, yes, um, you know, for the yachts that are on charter, it's also the experience they can give to the guests. So it's a lot about the toys, um, the equipment. So it could be gym equipment, diving equipment, a beach setup, because there's a lot of beach setup now because the, of course the guests want to go somewhere where nobody is or nobody has been. So this is also part of uh, the request. And um, yes, we definitely see the the trends evolving so yeah exploring a lot of uh, a lot of toys when it's charter books um and then yeah some kind of like cool not new stuff you know they really like to, they really try to find the cool new stuff that they are the first to have um and even now we i did a partnership uh with um, um fishing equipment but you will be interested, like there is more and more um, guests that are interested in to fishing. Um, and, you know, it's catch and release really often. It's not like they, they will keep the fish, but they, they just, and even this, this equipment are getting super, super perfectly finished with very, really nice 
like colors of the yacht and everything also um, is now looking to be custom made or um, at least, um, you know, have the personalization. So the color of the yacht or the logo or something that reminds the yacht. So then when we see some like the jet ski next to the yacht on the water and it has the same color. So we know it's the jet ski that goes with this yacht. And uh, so that's what's going on. Well, you know, something that we were talking about off air as well is that you know of some yachts that are actually, they have almost a science lab on board where they're testing water in different areas. Um, is that something that you're finding new yacht owners are much more socially aware, consciously aware of the environment and, and the impact that they're having on it? Of course, yes, yes, yes. Um, we can see really they are... It's it's not even it's yes it is about testing the water but it's also about the toys um, and so they want more electric toys for the noise for uh, of course um, that it's reliable and it's very easy to to use and for the service but it's so we don't put any petrol then in in the ocean so even the jet skis so now they are electric jet skis and. This makes perfect sense because even with then electric toys, you can go in the waters where you can't go with petrol engine. And that's the same with the tenders. And um, so they are very conscious about that. And that's why also there are these new technologies because there is request for that. There are requests for that. But also this goes then with the uh, cleaning products for the boats. Uh, there are more and more owners that are really into um, eco-friendly products vegan uh, so it's about the, the even the creams and the um, the, uh, the vest so the diving equipments or even this so we we work with the brand that they take plastic from the ocean and they recycle it and they make it um, tops from that and it's also same it's a uh, charter guest uh, gifts also they so yeah there is definitely a request for that and the entire industry and different different services of trying to answer to this more and more. And are you finding that the companies, the manufacturers of these toys, etc., most of them are even tenders. Most of them are going towards more eco-friendly. They're looking at different options in in fuel consumption, whether it be solar powered. Um, as you said, they're recycling plastic and using that in producing new products. Are more and more companies heading this way? Yes, they do. Uh, it's still a bit early stages. So, you know, it's still a bit expensive and the autonomy is not yet there sometimes and it's heavy. So there are a few things to, of course, but this will go with the progress, right? So we need to give time to this. But obviously we can see that there, it's just going in that way, in that direction. And I imagine that the owners themselves um, are stating that that is what they prefer. They do. They yeah. do. Well, they Roxanne, do. do you know what? I mean, it's been really interesting, and I'm so glad that we managed to get a hold of you um, and track you down for at least 50 <laughs> minutes or so. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to coming to Monaco and having a glass of wine on the moon. We will do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> defenses, right? <laughs> when we can actually travel again. It'll be lovely. Yeah. 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 I can pretend Seriously. I belong there for all of half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Once again, this has been Roxanne Decree. She is sales and rental at Super Yacht Tenders and Toys. If you are in need of her services or would like to chat with her for any reason, we will make sure to provide all of her information below this interview. I thank you again, Roxanne. You've been watching another edition of Yachting, Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I have been your host. Please tune in again for another episode.